spending the next few days on this lake canoeing, fishing, camping, and kind of just exploring the shorelines, looking for some cool spots that I can set up. Uh, it's about quarter to four right now. I got a lot of paddling to do, so I got to get going and hopefully we can find a spot before nightfall. All right, I just had to pull over in this cove for a minute. I can't be out in the middle of the lake right now. There's, it's just too choppy. Soon as uh, the wind catches the nose of your canoe, you just spin right around. So I have to ride this coastline. It's starting to rain now. Even here it's choppy, so I'm gonna try and find a spot sooner than later. And I can't film too much because I gotta paddle. <laughs> ever get yourself stuck in some strong winds it's really not ideal but paddling backwards like this will at least keep you going straight the nose of your canoe isn't gonna get caught in the winds and spin you around Well, I'm in a bit of a bind here. Uh, this spot is just slightly unremarkable. I'm not feeling great about it. Um, there's a large beach I can see on the other side of the lake, a little ways up. Um, if I hustle, I think I can make it there before nightfall. Um, it's just about six o'clock, so we're going for it. Yeah, I would say this is pretty good for night one. Um, lots of space to camp, hard packed clay, so should be good for pitching a tent. And there's a, a long kind of uh, river creek system that runs in here, so got some exploring to do. But first, let's figure out where we're gonna set up camp. It's still the first week of spring, but everything seems to be coming out earlier this year. Flowers are starting to bloom, that means bears. So I don't think I'll encounter any, but you never know. Got a few tracks in the mud here. I'm not sure if those could just be a dog, but that's a pretty big dog. <laughs> could be a wolf. I was feeling pretty defeated earlier, I'm not gonna lie. It's very frustrating paddling a canoe in unfavorable paddling conditions. I almost turned around a couple times. I didn't make it as far as I wanted to, but I'm feeling a lot better now. This spot's pretty good for me. I'm, I'm happy with it, so time to relax. Make some uh, Himalayan lentils and rice. I've never tried this one. We'll see how it is. Once I eat this, it's pretty much gonna be straight to bed. It's starting to rain again, 
if it could hold off until I'm done eating, that'd be lovely. Then we'll crawl into the tent, uh, head to bed. Probably try and get an early morning. Hopefully the water is calm in the morning and we can make some distance um, down the lake to the next spot. All right, night has fallen. I got nothing left in me. I'm just gonna clean up a bit here, crawl into the tent, and we'll see you guys in the morning for another day. Another gloomy day. It pretty much rained solid all night last night, uh, but it's not raining right now, so a good time to get up, make some coffee, get everything packed into the canoe, and keep moving up this lake. Um, the wind's already picking up, so I don't expect it to be calm waters out there, but uh, we're going either way. I saw this little creek system running into the lake, so I just wanted to, uh, wanted to check it out really quick, but I popped the drone up and it doesn't go very far, but it still looks cool. This is what we're dealing with down here. <laughs> what a mess. This lake is not known for its fishing. But it is known that fish have been caught in here. There's some rainbows and cutthroats, apparently. So, we're gonna do a little trolling. See if we get lucky. It's an interesting little spot right here. It's small, but it's flat. That has potential. If we don't find anything, we may come back to that. I'm just gonna pull over for some lunch here. I'm getting hungry. Maybe look for some potential spots over here. Oh, so I could camp kind of anywhere along this beach. It's not bad, but I think I'm liking the idea of that small little island. It's kind of unique. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat some lunch here. It's still uh, fairly early. I think it's about one o'clock, one o'clock. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect some firewood here um, and then we'll transport it over onto that little island and we'll set up camp there. Salami, probably the best thing you can bring with you on a multi-day trip. It's pretty much immortal. This place looks like the world ended.
I'm not sure if this is a good or a bad idea. But I want to cut this tree down. That's fun. <laughs> Feels good. This wood is gonna burn fast with all this wind. You know what, this shelter, it does suck, but I will say, to get out of the wind and just lay down here for a second, it's nice. And if it starts raining, I can at least put all my stuff under here and it'll stay dry. anybody shows up a cave. All right, we like to keep it simple out here. Noodles, probably dice up some salami, add that in. So I just put my last two pieces of wood on the fire. I guess I'm gonna have to burn the bench. I quite like this bench though. I'd prefer not to, but not like it's gonna get used again. This, uh, where I'm actually camping will be completely underwater soon enough. So it'll just get washed away. I'm just gonna wind down, enjoy the fire, and uh, wake up early tomorrow because I probably have about 12 kilometers to paddle out of here. So, after it's all said and done, I'll be close to um, 30 kilometers paddling. morning very misty uh, foggy morning but the Sun is rising over the mountains there and I think it'll all burn off it dropped below or close to zero last night everything's starting to frost over 
So I'm just gonna start packing up here. We'll make some breakfast. And then we gotta load up the canoe and start paddling out of here. All right, that's gonna be a wrap for this trip. Uh, we're all cleaned up. Had a couple of really good camp spots, uh, some good fires, good food. Got to explore some new territory. And uh, the sun's out now, so I probably got just over 10 kilometers to paddle out of here, so I'm gonna get started. Uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.